Hi everyone. The dog is man's best friend. There are many breeds that differ from each other. Another animal that everyone knows is the wolf. But did you know that the canine family actually has other species that deserve special attention? In this episode, we will talk about a peculiar species that nobody told you about at school. In fact, you may not have even heard of it. Hit the notification bell right now to always keep track of the most useful information. Here we go. Our story today is going to be about the maned wolf. This unusual animal is also known by other names, such as Gara or Agara Chai. The name has a Greek origin, and the translation literally means a short tailed golden dog. The maned wolf is a predator. It is the largest member of the canine family. Maine wolves inhabit South Africa. The main characteristic that makes this species different from others is its long, slender legs. The height of the animal at the withers can reach 87 centimeters. The animal's body doesn't look any different from the body of a fox or a common wolf. It is short, reaching only 130 centimeters in length in adults. Maned wolves weigh 23 kilograms. In addition to the long legs, these canines have unusual ears that can be 45 centimeters long in some individuals. A short tail and tall ears make the gara's body disproportionate. Its elongated muzzle reaches 24 centimeters in length. The maned wolf has thick yellowish red fur with a light colored tail. Its long legs have a different color. They are dark. Similar dark spots of fur are found on the muzzle. Remarkably, the fur on the withers and the neck is much longer and thicker, thus creating the effect of a mane, hence the name of the species. This mane stands on end while hunting, or when the animal tries to defend itself from an aggressor, an adversary, or other threats. Such a body structure has developed evolutionarily as a way of adapting to the habitat. After all, the wolf's habitats are an open area with tall grass, dry savannas, or bushy valleys. Maine wolves are nocturnal animals. In most cases, male wolves are more active. During daylight hours, these animals rest in the shade of trees or bushes before going out to hunt. Wolves mate for life. Nevertheless, the female and the male hunt and rest separately from each other. However, if a wolf couple gets into captivity, they begin to take care of each other, eat and sleep together. Male wolves mark their territory to protect it from other males. Mating season begins in mid-autumn and winter. Pups are born between June and September. The female is responsible for arranging the den. There's an average of three to six pups in a litter. They are quite small, only about 40 grams each. Unlike their parents, small garas are born gray with a light tassel on their tail. They remain blind and defenseless for over a week, so the female stays with them all the time. Little maned wolves have small, short legs, unlike the adults. Their ears begin to stand upright only a month after birth. Over time, their fur acquires a color similar to that of adult animals. By the age of three months, it is usually yellowish red, like their parents. Males are actively involved in parental care. They hunt and get food for the female while she is in the den with the offspring. They also protect them from any enemies or intruders. An important fact is that males play with small maned wolves and also teach them to hunt and communicate. When they reach one year of age, Garas become mature individuals. And one more year later, they are ready for mating. Since maned wolves are predators, they prey on other animals. Their prey is usually small in size, for example, rabbits, rodents, or armadillos. They can also feed on birds and reptiles. Nevertheless, these wolves can also eat plant food. In particular, bananas, potato, guava, some types of grass, plant roots, and fruits. That's why these wolves can be classified as omnivorous animals. 
Their diet is explained by the fact that these animals cannot run fast due to the small volume of their lungs. Moreover, their jaw structure doesn't allow them to attack larger prey. Maine wolves never attack humans. They are rather timid animals by nature. And therefore, they try to avoid any confrontations. Their hunting tactics are very similar to those of a fox. Having large ears, maned wolves listen to any rustles around them. And since they usually hunt in open areas at night, they quickly spot the prey. Having found it, maned wolves creep up and overtake the victim with one sharp jump. This doesn't always work out perfectly, so not every hunt is successful. In fact, the search for food can last all night, as long as eight hours on end. Like all wolves, they howl after sunset, thus communicating with each other at a great distance. At the sight of an enemy, Garas let out a dull, malicious growl. Maine wolves don't have ardent enemies in the wild. They mostly suffer from the hands of humans. As maned wolves sometimes hunt for domestic animals, the local population shoots off both adult individuals and their offspring. This is the reason why maned wolves are on the red list of threatened species with the status of an endangered animal. Many animals are killed by poachers, so it is illegal to hunt them. Moreover, many pups die under the wheels of cars, hoping to find a new place to live, looking to escape from the destruction of their usual habitat. Many youngsters cross roads and highways. Since these animals live in South America, they are also killed by the local population, who believe that the organs of maned wolves have a healing property. The natives believe that the eyes of maned wolves bring good luck in any business. There is also a superstition that if you sit on the skin of a gara, all your troubles will go away. Of course, all these beliefs are nothing more than fiction, and they lead to an even greater extermination of the species. Scientists are sure that in less than half a century, maned wolves will disappear as a species. Their current population is over 10,000 adults, these animals can live for about 15 years in captivity. The lifespan of maned wolves in the wild is naturally shorter, taking into account the rules of the wild. That's the end of today's episode. Let us know in the comments what you think of this animal. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.